Hi guys, David McSweeney here with Ahrefs. Today I'm going to show you how to use Site Explorer to quickly audit your site's link profile. And specifically, we're going to be looking out for low quality links. So, what kind of links are we looking for? Well, here's some examples. Paid links. So, what we'll be looking out for there are things like site-wide footer links or sidebar links, normally with exact match anchor text. Uh, links from link farms. Solicited links, which would be link exchanges in non-relevant sites, excessive use of them. Spun articles, so non-human text and again just low quality links. Uh, links from low quality web directories. Sites with explicit content, so that could also include hacked sites as well, illegal content. Or viruses, whereas, etc. Uh, spammy blog comments. And I would also look out for things like forum profile links, you know, excessive use of them, and also links from foreign language sites. So if our site's in English, we'd be expecting to see most of the links coming from other English language sites. If there's lots of Chinese or Russian links in there, then that's a big red flag. So let's uh, go back to Site Explorer and start the audit. We'll start by typing in the domain we want to audit in the search box and clicking search. And that'll take us to the overview page for the domain. So from there we'll go to inbound links and referring domains. And if we wanted to we could filter this out by do follow so we could just see just the do follow links and ignore any no follow links. But I'm going to actually take a look at everything here. Uh, scroll down to the report and order it by domain rating, which will put the highest quality links at the top. We could click that again if we wanted, and that would put the lowest quality links at the top if we wanted to do it that way. But for the moment, I'll, I'll stick with the high quality links first. And basically, we can just start going down and we're looking out for anything that we don't recognize, looks a bit suspicious. So. This domain here, I'm going to take a look at that. And we can see over here where we've got Japanese characters and an anchor text link, so that looks very suspicious. Uh, if we wanted to, we could click here to actually go through and visit the article or the, the website itself, but I'm pretty certain that's something we're going to take a closer look at. So, what we can do is we can actually just hover over the domain and click Disavow Domain. And what that'll do, that'll put that in a file for us so we can actually, once we've finished this process, we can actually go and review that file and take a look at those domains and see which ones we want to definitely get rid of. So I could just keep scrolling down and we can see here we've got a .jp, which is going to be probably another Japanese site. Well, JP's Japan. So let's disavow that one too. And... There's another one. We've got some EDU links here, so we might want to take a look and just make sure they, they seem okay, which they do. These ones seem fine. Anything we're not sure of, we can just take a look at, just see what it is. Again, these ones look absolutely fine. And we just work our way through the list, going to page two. Uh, I'm, I'm going through quite quickly here, but you, you'd obviously probably take a bit longer on each domain, make sure it's, it's something you definitely want to keep. Uh, as I scroll down, actually, I can start to see quite a few domains specific to computer games. And these ones are all profile links. So we've got this one, icecreamgames.org online Spider-Man games. They're all profile links as we can see, so these look very, very suspicious, so we can just start disavowing those ones too. And once we've worked our way down the list, what we can do is go up here and click on Upload Disavowed Links. We click on that and then Download and that'll open up a text file. I'll just open that up. 
and you can see in that file we've got the domains that we clicked on disavow domain for. And now that's a properly formatted disavow file which we could go ahead and upload to Google through a Search Console. But what we'll be doing first of all is probably taking a closer look at the sites, making sure they're definitely links we want to get rid of, and then we'll go through the process of reaching out to the websites themselves, asking them to remove the links, and if they don't do that, then thereafter we can go ahead and upload a disavow file to Google. So that's how to quickly audit your backlink profile with Ahrefs. Any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll see you soon. Thanks.